Okay, what you see here is the results of my first, um, I guess, donation to a quick starter project, a kick starter project, and that was from Merck Wares. Uh, they're located in Utah. And what this is, this is a uh, fire starting kit. And uh, this is the flint and steel. And this is uh, a dragon shaped uh, striker. And you have a cloth bag here. Or it could be, yeah, it's cloth. Jute is a cloth. And uh, you have a tin here. Looks like a uh, Sucrets styled tin or a uh, Altoids tin. And they made the Amberlit stove. I think I did a uh, view on that. And this kit comes with a Fresnel lens and this nice little plastic uh, sleeve here. And you can use this for close-up views of things or concentrating rays of the sun to start fires. And you have uh, a couple different ropes that can be uh, turned into char cloth or char rope. All right, so you have two different styles of ropes there. And this looks like another flint that was actually in the kit as well. And they have a very good demonstration of actually how you use this stuff. Uh, I haven't gotten quite around to using it. As you can see, this is in pristine shape. But apparently what you can do, you can uh, put cloth inside of this tin and it makes a hermetic um, compartment and toss it onto a fire. Um, the products on the inside, the cloth will off gas very much like you uh, find with a um, gasifier stove because you're um, applying heat to something that is uh, without oxygen so the product on the inside won't burn but it will off gas and essentially turn into uh, charcoal type of product or charcoal like product and that will easily take a spark and can maintain the spark or the ember and uh, from that point forward you can actually create a flame with it if you're uh, practiced or seasoned enough to uh, to do that but uh, yeah this was my first um, I guess donation to a, a Kickstarter uh, project and um, I do like their products uh, I think I gave uh, pretty glowing reviews for their uh, ember lit stove I have the uh, stainless steel ones. They also make it in titanium. And they also have, uh, this was for, I believe it was called the Fire Ant, which is a smaller version of the Emberlit stove. And um, that's a small titanium. I believe they make it in, they may make it in uh, a stainless steel as well. But in any case, uh, I just thought I'd showcase this. And unfortunately, I'm not very good at striking steel. I need some practice. I chipped this off. But let's just see if I can throw a couple sparks here. It's dusk. It's light is failing, so perhaps you'll be able to see it. Let me move this light background and see if we can. I'm not even sure how to do this. I don't even remember how to do this. Let me see here. I'm just so clumsy with this. Uh oh. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm very clumsy with this. And uh, obviously, I need a lot of work, a lot of practice. So I think I'm just not catching it right because I know the very first time I was doing this, I was just throwing some sparks. But that's uh, another matter. But in any case, I'll just have to uh, find me uh, some more flints if I can, or some other uh, adequately hard stone that uh, casts sparks once you strike it, and um, go from there. But as you see, I need practice on this, uh, just like everything else. It looks easy when somebody else does it, and when you try to do it, it becomes a, a cluster. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.